Hello and welcome back to another video. If you're at the level of sim racing where you are using telemetry to find those extra couple of tenths, choosing the right platform can be tricky. From the apps that provide every single bit of telemetry that you could ever want but may be hard to comprehend, right down to the easiest to understand that don't quite offer all of the information that you're looking for. Choosing the right platform can often come down to giving up and choosing one at random. So what we really need is a platform that offers all the different data points while also being easy to understand. Fortunately, Track Titan have now launched the Advanced Layout feature. Aimed at drivers who are slightly more advanced, it allows the driver to review all the different data points simultaneously. From throttle, brake, speed, line, gear, steering and more, the new Advanced Layout gives you far more comprehensive look at your driving similar to what professional race drivers are actually shown. The difference with how Track Titan shows the data though is that it's far easier to digest. Not only is the lap split up into segments so you can analyse each part of the track individually, but the biggest time loss is highlighted with corresponding quick tips. While other platforms just show lines on a graph, Track Titan is a far more immersive way of digesting the data and, in turn, makes it easy to understand and action changes in your next session. Of course, you can still switch to the original mode if you want to simplify things, but now with Advanced Mode, you can see more data than ever before in a cleaner, easier to understand layout. So we've seen how it looks and what it can do. Let's put it into action and analyse some telemetry. Here we are looking at a set of course of competizione in the 2019 Porsche 911 GT3R around Bathurst and because it's the legendary Mount Panorama circuit, let's delve into the data over the top of the mountain, down skyline and the S's. The driver we are analysing here is losing over a second in this one section alone. So simply click on the segment, toggle on the advanced mode and here we go. So the first thing that we see is the data itself holds more prominence on screen than the map delta and of course we can see all the data at once. So the lap we're analysing is in orange and the reference lap is in blue. So first thing to note is our driver arrives in the segment significantly slower than the reference lap. This is most likely down to a poor exit out of the preceding corner and maybe a suboptimal setup too. Second thing to note is our driver is earlier and harder on the brakes, which as we can see from the speed tab, scrubs off more speed than the reference lap. The third thing to note is the timing of the gear shifts. Our driver is quicker to downshift into fourth gear, but then the reference driver can shift down twice before our driver shifts again. The fourth thing is that because our driver brakes harder and earlier than the reference initially, they don't have additional speed to scrub, so braking is rather minimal, whereas the reference driver has two large braking points through the corner complex, which not only helps with slowing down, but also rotating the car into the corners. One final thing, and this is more of a driving style thing, is look how smooth our driver is compared to the reference. With the reference being so active on the steering, that can be critical through a complex of corners like this. So as we can see, you can see all the data and it is extremely easy to analyse it all, digest it all and understand what it means. You can try out this new feature on TrackTitan.io. Simply sign up with the code ADVANCE24 to get 30 days of unlimited telemetry sessions and once you've recorded a lap, all you have to do is toggle on advanced mode and analyse away. So thank you for watching and of course, don't forget to sign up with ADVANCE24 for 30 days of limited analysis. See you again in the next video.